What is up guys, we're back from the Dove's Coliseum Championship Series, and boy, we're getting up in the upper, tw or, well, not upper 20s, but we're in the 20s in episodes. Um, so this is a pretty strong series, I believe this series is my longest series on my channel to date, I, I, I believe so, and this one, you, as you see here, we're not in a fight yet. Uh, this episode is kind of more of a uh, special edition style, um, even though this um, series isn't like this at all, but just to kind of uh, give it a little twist for just this episode, and occasionally there may be special episodes, if that makes sense. Now, um, let's, let's go ahead and find the fight, uh, but whilst doing that, I had hinted in the last episode that I will be giving you a rundown on the best team comp to build in Dofus for all purposes, you know, in my opinion, um, you know, it, it would have its disadvantages and advantages, but you can substitute characters in and out if you needed to out of your total of six, but yeah, uh, let's find this a fight here. Oh yeah, what I was going to say is, I'm working on making some money currently. I don't have much. I only got 131.7 uh, almost, and I'm not really wearing wearing any good gear. It's more troll gear, to be honest. <laughs> Let's be honest. Uh, so I got a Christmas hat on with the living item hat on it. I got a Christmas cape uh, with the uh, what's it called on it? The I think air whatever it's called. You know, one of the fucking living item shits. Not the same one, but, you know, a gobble belt just for pods. It's just a random thing in the bank. And that's where it gets funny. The Godfather's Polished Oxfords. Nah, that's pretty funny. They're, they're pretty cool. The descriptions on these are pretty good. If you want to pause and read the descriptions, um, I would definitely do so. And then I got my Snoofle. <laughs> you know, he's looking for comments all the time. So if you want to pause and read his as well. On all these, I'd recommend it, to be honest. I got this on, you know, I wouldn't pause it on that or the guild shield that's just stuff you know whatever uh here you got an axe and it's called samuel j axe so it's like samuel jackson samuel jackson you know the actor yeah bat knows who samuel jackson is the description's pretty funny as well if you can pause and read that uh this ring the godfather's ring uh it's pretty funny and then you got a strong ring <laughs> just pretend you're strong i don't know it's stupid i'm just fucking around while i try to make some money um and a Pac-Man amulet. That's a pretty decent uh, description as well. Uh, I have a bunch of stuff in the sales room and stuff. And I'm not going to reveal how I make money. Because that would uh, be pretty retarded. I thought about doing a series on... Uh, like... Road to One Bill. Um, I mean, it's commas. But, meh. I do have a guild. Uh, it's level 80. It's just got my characters in it. But, you know. Yeah, so, anyway... Let's find us a fight. This is a little different episode. You might be bored, but, uh, you know, wanted to make a little special episode. So normally what I do here is I just look for duration, look for one that just started. Uh, this actually might be pretty interesting. So let's get into this one, shall we? Shall we get into it? Oh, shit, it just started. The Elliot Trump's going hard in the paint on the SRAM. <laughs> Alright, so let's get into the team rundowns, and then we'll uh, talk about this OP team comp I've been alluding to. So, on the red side, we have a 200 I, uh, 199 IOP. Uh, resistances are not bad. I, ex I approve of them. Alright, so, and then we have a 200 mask. Resistances aren't the greatest. Don't really approve. Uh, and a 200 SRAM. Definitely don't approve on them bullshit resistances. Get out of here with that. Alright, so, on the blue side, we have a 200 Iliotrope. I can, I can accept those resistances. Uh, and then we have a 200 Echo Flip. I very much accept those resistances. Um, he's sacrificed some damage for that if you do see that though. His Playful Call didn't hit too high, but he also did not cast um, uh, his, what's it called? He's, he's leaving his options open. He did not cast Wheel of Fortune for improved damage. And then we have a 199 eye up with pretty shitty resistances. Not acceptable at all. Now for my predictions. 
uh, on who's going to win. So now, see, this is tough because now the Plastron Shield going to be very annoying here. Um, shit. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go with the red team. I'm going to go with red team. Make your predictions now. Don't skip ahead and cheat. That's no fun. Unless you want to, then if that's what you're into. I, don't know. I mean, if you get fun out of doing that, then I'm actually okay. But, you know, all right. Alrighty, so I'm going to try to commentate the fight, but but uh, I'm also want to give you a rundown of this this class setup. So here we go. I hope you guys are ready. Now for this is for the four core, like four core your four core characters. You're probably going to play most of the time when you get on, um, and then you'll have two other characters. And if you need, depends on what you're doing, you can substitute one of those characters in. To this uh, lineup here if you need to but I I don't think you would to be honest uh, you might do but uh, yeah so anyway let's get into it so first of all first and foremost every single team needs some form of damage and you want high volume damage as much damage as you possibly can at all times okay now when you think of damage, a few classes come to mind, correct? You know, right? So you're thinking of eye up, you know, boom, eye up, because eye up frat and stuff. And, you know, they got pretty good damage. Uh, as far as some damage, I feel like they've, they're have they a little bit lackluster compared to some classes, but that's mainly due to some people not building them right and try to take them into a class that's built correctly. Um, but anyway, and you think of, you know, an echo flip can pour down some damage, Excel or um, you know, stuff like that, sometimes a SRAM. You know, you've seen big damages and stuff. But anyway, so first and foremost, you need damage. And for me, that's an IOP. Listen, an IOP will get your damage done for you 110%. And when you're, and when you're building this team, you don't have to, like, let, let's say you don't really have a whole lot of money, right? So the way you want to proportion this out is, I know we're not even talking about the fight. Hopefully you're watching it. Uh, this is going to be a weird episode, like I said. Because um, I really want to, you know, help you guys out. I should technically do a separate episode on this, but fuck it, I thought let's do it in a special one on the Coliseum and just give it a whirl, right? Fuck it. So, if you ain't got a lot of money, whatever, slowly start working towards this core four, and you ask yourself, well, which one should I start out with? Well, technically, um, there's no wrong answer here. Uh, the two more right answers, in my opinion, would either be the I up or the Feca. And I know I'll, I'll, I'll like that you focus your best gear on, so to speak, right? So and then it trickles down from there, it, it, you know. So your eye up and feca is, you know, both too important here in your core four. So your eye up is going to be your damage dealer. Now your feca is going to be, well, a tank. It does good AOE damage. It's going to be great for PVM. Well, it's going to be good for PVP too. You know, it's a feca. Um, so you could either prioritize your eye up or feca as far as your best of your best gear, and then. Just trickle down from there, so either give it to your Fekka or whichever. So I just uh, realized I fucked up, and I gave away the second character of the team, which is the Fekka, because I was just talking about it. I don't know why I just spaced that, because I, I have the, um, I have them all over here on the side screen on a notepad, so, you know, I already know what the, t what, what everything is, but you guys don't know, and I get ahead of myself sometimes, so... If you get lost, I'll try to catch myself on some shit, but you'll get it. So, you know, you got Iop and Fekka. Now, Iop's beast damage, Fekka, you got shields, AoE damage, and, you know, AoE damage and damage reduction. You can't really beat that at all. Um, they can teleport a little bit. Uh, they can lock some stuff, uh, you know, and, and stuff like that. And I'll, I'll give you how, how I would build all these as well here in a minute. Now, after that, you're going to need some type of uh, heals. Um, and honestly, you could go with an Osa or an any An Osa's kind of versatile as far as... But the heals aren't as great. You know, you could go to a Fog or not, but I'm not really feeling heals. Technically, you can make, like, some type of Echo Flip that heals, but all this stuff bullshit. Fuck that. If you want heals, get an any Rispa. Get the any. You know, right? Make an any. I don't care. Make make your any a female, damn it. Don't make a male any. I think that class should be locked to females only. That's just my opinion. Um, and, but I normally prefer male characters to play. But for an any, that's female. 
my opinion. I don't know why. Um, their hills are great, but not only are their hills are great, actually, this is going to be one of your higher damage dealing uh, characters on your team and on your core four as well. Um, so, you know, you got you to gotta have that in it. Now, for the fourth one, right? And for the fourth one, I'm talking about a sacred, okay? And now, ever since the rework, even it, even if this was before reworked sacreds, I would still pick sacred um, for my fourth one, and I'll explain it here and why here in a, here in a minute. Um, but yeah, so sacred, they're re they're actually really good rework now, in my opinion. Um, the sacred rework is fantastic. So there's your core four. All right, you have your core four, right? I told you core four. Now. Let's go ahead and tell you the the two the other two. So you have your team of six, and then we'll go from there. So the first flaw of this core team of four uh, is they don't necessarily have very very long range. That you can the decent versatile between the any uh, and the Feka and stuff. You can do a little bit of range, but nothing insane. Now, so your last two for to round off your six and your two flex picks as far as your team goes. Uh, and what I mean by flex picks is they're versatile, sort of. You can rotate them in if you need to. Uh, is a Inu trough and a Kra. Now, you, the reason you want the Inu trough and Kra is if you're doing some uh, more higher end PVM or some stuff along of that nature, and you just really need to just keep the shit away, you can keep the shit away with an Inu and a Kra. Now, what's cool about that is IOPS can help push away. You know, Sacreers can help uh, manipulate the map. They can pull stuff. They can swap with stuff. Um, very, very useful. The, all six of those. You can literally do any in-game dungeon that I could think of um, with those characters. There might be some few exceptions with some other bullshit. Like, this type of team is technically better than the team I've told you. But if you want a team that's covering all your bases, there's the six. Now I'm going to go back through and run run you down how I would build these, okay? Alright, so with the IOP. The IOP is strength intelligence, 100% hands down. No if ands, ands, buts, or about it. It is strength intelligence. Because, and if you do it properly, it's gonna, he will hit like a truck. If you have wrath, you know, and you got the, the sword of IOP. I think it's called sword of IOP. It might be Sword of Fate. You know the other fire one that's like Wrath? It's like a smaller Wrath. You guys know what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't know what the fuck the name is called, but you get it. Um, hang on, let me look at it. Sword of Fate. That's it. Sword of Fate. Yeah, that's right. So, you know, so you got a combination of that and Wrath. They both hit like a truck. You know, you got Strength Storm. Takes 3 AP. You know, you have your... Uh, you know, so you're versatile. You have two, you have two elements, which is good. Um... Especially if you're doing a lot of PVM and two elements is great. Now on the Fekka, the Fekka is 100% Omni. And what I mean by Omni, if you don't know what Omni means, it means you're all elements. You can use any skill that you want. Now your Fekka is going to be your most expensive character in the end game. Because since he can do everything, you want to get everything to level 6. And that's going to cost spell point scrolls and stuff like that. Uh, or as much stuff as 6 as you really can. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, and then, then they, you have all the skills that he has every element. That's killer for PVM and PvP, to be honest. It's throwing people off guard. And now for the any, For the any, it's just intelligence. Like, just straight up intelligence. They hit like a truck. They heal like a truck. Make sure you balance with your damage and your heals. Because uh, any, you can go pretty high high end damage, but your heals aren't as great. You want to get a balance so you have good both um, because you need to keep your team alive. Now, with the Sacrier, I have not 100% decided. I was considering Omni with the Sacrier, but I might just go flat out agility. And I mean flat out agility. Um, but, I, you know, I haven't really 100% decided on that. Um, but yeah, that's the core class. And, you know, you want all good resistance and everything. Those are the core four. Now, you could almost do anything with those core four. Uh, I mean, yeah, your range is a little lackluster. But listen, you're not going to be taking much damage. Okay? Uh, your Saker can sacrifice 
you know, take damage for your other classes, but it's going to be reduced damage and you have your any to heal it. Like how much, what, what more do you need? That's, that's fucking OP. It really is, if you think about it. And the way you've done these elements, you have pretty much every element covered minus chance, but, well, no, you have chance covered because your effect is Omni. See, Wrath right there, 2000. Boom. You know, you have that and Sword of Fate charged on the same turn. Somebody's fucking dead. But, uh... Alright, so now you get to the Inutroph. 100% chance. If you build an Inutroph any other way, you're fucking retarded. Unless you're just building something solely for PvP, then cool, do your own thing. Some Intelligence ones are cool. Some Omni ones that I've seen are pretty, pretty wicked. You know, shit like that. But, just chance. For the your trough, right? Chance out the ass. You want that thing to hit like an absolute truck. Man, I mean a truck. Get it as hardcore as you can. Even if you have to, uh, you know, give up a little bit of resistance and a little bit of health, get that damage on it. All right, now your cry. Um, the cry. I was gonna go Omni on the cry, but the thing about doing Omni on the cry, it's you're gonna have another character that you're gonna need to buy a absolute shit ton of spell point scrolls. And that's just not really worth. Maybe later you could turn your cry into Omni. But to start, it's going to be chance and strength uh, for sure. The chance strength combos are just. Uh, no, not chance strength. What the fuck am I talking about? Uh, it, it's really hard to do until you get to 200. Uh, it's chance intelligence. I know it sounds really weird and really stupid, but hear me out. Okay, so. Anything for PVM, you want you want intelligence, right? You just want intelligence that has the AOE damage that you want. It matches very well with your Fekka already's AOE damage. Um, so it's very versatile. And then also with the chance, the chance hits like a truck, but it also has a little bit of area effect um, with the slowdown arrow. Uh, but the build, the, the, the gear is very tricky to get right on chance and uh, intelligence. Or not, yeah, chance and intelligence. But there you have everything covered as far as damage wise. Um, you know, if you if you take your sacred or full agility, then you're good to go. Or really, if you had the if you had a retarded amount of money, I'd go Omni on your Fekka, Kra, and Sacred uh, at, in the end game. But yeah. That's really the six you would need if you think about it for anything in the game. But uh, you can, you know, for Coliseum, you could take three of those and it would be killer, mix and match them together however you really want to. Um, but I would see if you're doing PvP, the Fekka and IOP are your core two for the most part, and you just sub in some other shit. Um, I, f I don't know, I feel like Fekka, Kra, no, uh, Fekka, IOP, and uh, any would be pretty formidable and Colo, but there's still teams that would beat it. Um, but that's my opinion on the best team you should make for Dofus. I know it's been a little bit of a different episode. It's rather, it's a little bit long, but not too bad. And we completely missed, I completely missed the fight for the most part. Uh, but the team that I wanted to win did not win. So, you know, that's pretty unfortunate. But, or did they win? What team was this guy? Is there a way I can check? I wasn't paying attention. I'd have to watch back the footage. Because uh, I really wasn't paying attention. I was just looking at my side list there. So I didn't get off topic. And stuff like that. But if you guys have uh, any suggestions on classes and builds and stuff for teams. Feel free to talk about them in the comments. But, you know, I'll take everything you say into consideration. Uh, some stuff might be really good idea actually if, you know some people have good ideas but for the most part I just feel like this this team's great just overall um, and then that way and if you wanted to you technically could build two more characters just to have them on the back burner later but I like the idea of six because you can play with uh, a few of your friends or one, at least one of your friends and he can bring his second character or something like that and then if you really want to you can just drop it down to your uh, drop it down to four, four of your characters and you're good to go and you never have to rely on anybody if you don't need to um, yeah but hopefully you guys enjoyed 
a little different episode. Probably won't have another one for another 20 or 30 episodes like it. But, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one.